Hello, I'm Sherry. Welcome to my channel. I got my Boxy Lux box today. Uh, comes up to $49.99 a month and like $52 with tax and stuff. I already opened it, of course. You know me, I'm impatient and I have to find out what I'm getting and stuff all the time. We always get this little slip that shows what products we get. Let's just dig right in. First thing on here, I see a Violet Boss. Essentials eyeshadow palette. I love getting eyeshadow palettes. Comes with a mirror. Here are the colors. This provides revamped essential shades in an equal number of breathtaking mattes and metallics. You can create the most fashion forward neutral looks. It was designed for everyday use in a stunning mix of warm and cool toned shades for countless color combinations. Rethink essentials and effortlessly. Take your look from day to night, achieve a soft glam or go bold with a pop of color. The choice is yours. Be happy to play with that bad boy. Next, we got Dr. Brandt. $52. Hydro Biotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. It's just a sleeping mask. It's just hydrating recovery sleeping mask. It balances skin's naturally occurring flora and locks in moisture overnight to reduce redness and soothe the signs of irritation. It looks like a small mask. Uh, it has a seal, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. Ah! Never happened. Next we have Hank and Henry Blickety Black Eyeliner. Our latest addition to the Slick With It line of eye products. Our eyeliner is vegan, liquid formula, dries down to a satin matte finish. It be long wearing and transfer resistant, which is perfect for those with hooded eyelids. I'm not good with eyeliners, but I will, I'll give it a try. Next we have the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. It says original power pot. Stila's award-winning full coverage creamy liquid lipsticks delivers bold, long-lasting color that wears comfortably for up to 12 hours, enriched with vitamin E and avocado oil. Um, Rubino, so I suppose it's a red. It's kind of red. Ooh. It's blood red. I don't know. I'll just throw it on, let's just try it out. Looked at it earlier, it looked like it was purple. Um, <laughs> it dried down. My lips are too small to be wearing like this color. All right, I gotta take it off. I'll be right back. The lipstick was $22. I wish they would have sent me like a neutral shade. For the next product, which I'm so excited about, the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Palette. It's now easier than ever to bronze and glow with Tarte's best-selling multitasking bronzer formulated to blend and build your perfect level of uniform bronze. It's a waterproof formula. Amazonian clay helps improve overall skin clarity, texture, and tone for an overall lit from within complexion. I wanted it so bad the last time because I missed the very first uh, Boxy Lux and it was in there. And I just had like, I was just wishing I would have got it. Comes with a nice big mirror. Here's the shades. Two highlight shades and zero. I would use this one here to sculpt and I would use this to this to bronze. Packaging is beautiful. And I'm so glad I got it. Woohoo! So the next thing I got is the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. And I did try this from Sephora. I got sample of it and I actually just ran out. So that's pretty crazy that I got it. It's the Ultimate Brightening Serum for brightening and smoothing formulated with a stable blend of 22% pure pineapple juice. One of the most potent sources of natural vitamin C, natural AHA, bromelain enzymes, Infused with chamomile, aloe, and vitamin E to soothe even the most sensitive skin. Cutest little packaging too, look at that. 
only thing though, I wonder if it'll, it is see-through. You're not supposed to have the vitamin C be exposed to light because then it loses its potency. According to Drunk Elephant, well, that's how I found that out. Through Drunk Elephant because they have the containers that light can't go in through. I wonder how that's gonna work. Excited about this too, I was excited. Waiting for this. I love, love, love brushes. Moda's eight piece brush set. Exclusive new Moda Studio set is the ultimate must have for brush fans. Black quilted handles, sleek silver barrels, and vegan filaments. These beauties will look smart on any vanity. My brushes, look at, they're like textured or quilted as they say. Um, each of them are like that. There's a silver ferrule. Um, they're really soft. This is a powder brush. This is a contour brush. Low brush. Highlighting. Shader brush. A smudger brush. Detail brush. And brow brush. Those are my brushes. Mistress Hydration Balm. Leave-in conditioning balm that won't weigh hair down. No seal. This would be leave-in conditioner. I wonder should I put some in my hair? Mm, smells so good. <sighs> I can just sit here and smell my hair. That smells so good. And that is my whole box. So I'm excited. I got everything I wanted. I was hoping for this. I got it. I was hoping for the brushes. I got that. And I was hoping for this palette. I got that. I just started using that. I ran out. I got that. All in all, this box was hands down my favorite box I ever got from BoxyCharm. I can't wait to use the eyeliner. This will probably go to my knees. A lot more daring than I am. Box total up here. And since we're here, let's use this little chisel thing. Let's go in with my new brush, which there's a piece of hair sticking out of. Mmm, it smells like cocoa. It smells so good. Let's go into Princess Cut right here. Stamping motion first. Discoloration, stain discoloration, it just oh, it takes all the fun away. One of these days, I'm gonna um, put some color corrector there. I gotta do something, cover that up because it just takes the fun out of me being able to chisel. Put some up here. I my nose, I should use a smaller brush, but... Okay, I picked the pink, kind of pinkish color, and this is the yellow tone, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take a little bit of each. And just powder a big powder brush. Should I put some of that bronzer? Yeah, I think I will. Carrot, this one here. This is the bronzer. Whoa. Enough for both cheeks here. <laughs> God, Sherry, what do you do? I used a too big of a brush is what I did. One with my Smith brush. I'm gonna take some of that pinky shade. I guess I'll just be super bronzy today, huh? First light one. The 
this is my good bronzing brush. I'm gonna go back in with that bronzer. Add a little more to this side. And if you feel like it's still too much, you can take a sponge. And go on the edges, like I did with that highlight yesterday. I like it, I like it. On the eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna go in with this sand color. I'll actually come back and do a look with this for some of the terracotta. Same on the other side. Get this bottom here. I'm gonna use this cinnamon color here. Close as I can to the lash line. I like that color. It's pretty. This brush is a little stiff. Not as soft as the other brushes, but that's just fine. And that same shade just right here. Blend it out with that terracotta shade, the little orangey one with that. I'm gonna go in with this here. Almost like a silver. Take some of that terracotta, the orangey one, and just kind of take it over there. Just to kind of get a blend going. Okay, I take my finger, pat over. So that's it. A quick look with that palette. Happy with this box. Like I said, it's gotta be hands down my favorite box. Yeah, be hands down my favorite box from BoxyCharm. Um, this is a 10 out of a 10. If I had to rate it, well, I gotta get. This stuff put away. Carm's gonna be home in a little bit. Let me know if you get Boxy Charm. Let me know what products you liked out of my my box. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Um, yeah. I don't know. Bye.